Chamberlain with Yoga Connect. Welcome to one of our last yoga classes for teens. I'm going to invite our parents to join today if they like as well. We can do a class where both your parents and you are able to enjoy some yoga on your mat. So if you have a moment, go ahead and grab a parent or if you're a parent, go ahead and grab your teen. It might be nice to have a blanket or a pillow or something to prop yourself up on. And we're just going to enjoy a yoga class that makes us feel good in our bodies and maybe makes us feel a little connected to our parent or our teen. So as we sit down, I'm going to teach you a thing called square breath. Now square breath is something that's taught a lot to calm the nervous system down. I have with me my breathing ball. And so I'm going to teach you a little bit about the breath through the use of the ball. So when my, um, on the inhale breath, our breathing ball is going to be nice and big. And on the exhale breath, we're going to breathe all the air out. Okay? So square your breath is something like it sounds. It kind of sounds a little bit like a square. And the best way to do it is to start with just exhaling all the air out. And when you breathe in, breathe into the count of four, breathing in all your air. Two, three, four, and hold your breath. Two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four, and then hold it out. Two, three, four, you got it. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath. Two, three, four, exhale out. Two, three, four, hold it out. Two, three, four, last time, big breath in. Two, three, four, hold your breath. Two, three, four, exhale out. Two, three, four, and keep it out. Two, three, four, now breathe normal. Maybe place one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly. And just notice maybe how your breath changed or the heart rate start to slow down. And we'll check back in with this also throughout the class. So from here, we're just going to get into some movement right away. Let's put our um, hands and knees underneath us. So you can do this with a blanket or just on your hands and knees, whatever is most comfortable for you. If you want to do it with a blanket, you put the blanket under your knees. And we'll do some simple cat counts. So cow, on your inhale, you're going to drop your belly, pull your arms through your chest, lift your base. And as you exhale, you can press and round through the back, maybe push the top of the toes onto the floor. Inhale, breath, drop your belly, lift your gaze, pull your shoulders back. And exhale, press and round. Do that one more time. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, press and round. We're going to push our hips back towards our heels. Maybe bring your toes to touch your knees wide and stretch back into child pose. So remember, child pose is our place that we come to rest. We can drop to this pose at any time we want to rest and take a break or maybe take a drink of water. In this particular child pose, let's take a few breaths, feeling the stretch in our backs. Take a big breath in. And breath out. Big breath in. And breath out. One more like that. Big breath in. And out. Let's crawl forward all the way onto our bellies. Bring our legs straight behind us. Bring our hands underneath our shoulders. Tuck your chin towards your chest and place the top of the toes onto the floor. Maybe lift your kneecaps up as you squeeze your elbows in. And on your inhale breath, we're going to do a baby cobra pose. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Maybe this one gets a little bigger as it's growing. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower down. Do that one more time. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, lower down. Keep your legs just exactly as they are, but bring your hands on your fingertips and bring your elbows as they point towards the ceiling. You can rest your forehead onto your floor or your mat. 
as you press the tops of the feet into the floor, you're going to inhale, press your hands or your fingertips down as you lift up and stress across your chest. Let that belly stretch. Maybe just look in front of you, take a big breath in, stay, and exhale, lower all the way down. Let's bring our hands underneath our shoulders, come back into a tabletop position, and then we're going to stretch into downward facing dog. So I'm going to teach a little bit more about downward facing dog than normal. First and foremost, we do not have to straighten our legs. So lots of you are growing and you're growing fast. So it takes a while for those muscles to catch up with the bones. So if you need to keep your knees bent, that's totally fine. Let's place our hands, a handprint, forward. And as you bring your fingertips onto your mat, pull and squeeze as if your arms are going to come together, even though your hands aren't going to move. Now from here, pull your belly button in, curl your toes, keep your knees bent, and imagine you're going to push the mat forward as your hand stays glued to the mat. Now lift your tailbone in your seat super high. And let your head and neck hang between your shoulders, your arms. You can shake your head yes or no. You can choose to walk your dog, maybe straightening one leg and bending the other. You get a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Take your time here. Keep breathing. And then we're going to stretch out a little bit of the legs here. So press your hands forward again one more time. Bend your knees a lot. Keep your right foot glued to the floor. Lift your left leg up and stretch. And then exhale, set it down. Let's do the opposite leg. Lift the right leg up and stretch. And then place that foot down. Bend your knees a lot. Look forward. Walk your feet to your hands, however they get there. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. If you need to you lift your hands and put your feet down, that's fine too. Do what feels right for you. Let's bend our knees a lot here and place our torsos as they relax over the thighs. We can grab opposite elbows here and sway from side to side. Notice the strength of your own legs. Feel your feet on the floor. Maybe lift your toes and set them down. Relax your arms down to the floor. And as you're ready, imagine that somebody's going to slowly pull you up, but your arms and head are so heavy that when you stand all the way up, your head is the last to come up and your arms hang down by your sides. Let's take a moment here just to sway from side to side. Let your arms be loose like spaghetti. Keep breathing. Let's keep our arms down by our sides. Here, lift your right arm up towards the ceiling and as you exhale, bend over to the left. Take a big breath here and exhale. Lift your arm back up, bring you back to center, bring that down, other arm comes up and stretch the side. It doesn't matter as long as we do both sides. So you can do the same as me or um, listen to the sounds or listen to what I'm instructing. So right or left sometimes gets mixed up as we look at you. Now lift your arms back up and then maybe if you have someone join you today, maybe you stand side by side and as you lean in towards each other, maybe reach your arm up and over and see if you can stretch and reach and grab either your parent or your child. If you don't have anyone joining you, just do what I'm doing. Take a big breath in and out. And then let's go to the opposite side. So maybe you're stretching away from each other. Take a big breath in and big breath out. Come back up, reach both arms up. Make sure you have plenty of space beside you. Let's bend your knees, cactus your elbows, lift your chest. Another option here, if you want to stretch a little bit more along the collarbones, is you can bend your knees, clasp your arms behind you, squeeze your elbows in, and then make your arms or your fist pull down towards the floor. Keep those beat knees bent, look up towards the ceiling, take a big breath in and out. Release your hands, bring your arms out to the sides, 
stretch up nice and tall. And as you exhale, bend your knees and lower all the way down to the floor. We're going to move through some simple sun salutations. On your inhale breath, bring your hands to your shins. Stretch your spine long, halfway lift. On your exhale, lower down, check out those toes, bring your hands towards the mat. You can bend your knees a lot here. And option one is to come into a tabletop. Option two might be to step back and bring your knees down. Or option three is to lift your knees up. You do what feels right for you. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, drop your knees down if you're not already. Lower your elbows in towards your body and come all the way onto the mat. We're going to come back to that cobra pose. On your inhale breath, lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Tuck your chin and turn your chest so that you have a long neck. And exhale, lower down. On your inhale breath, come to tabletop pose and pause. And then exhale breath comes back to down or facing dog. Take a big breath here. Exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Take a big breath in. Stick your tongue out. And exhale. Ha! <sighs> Big breath in, exhale, tongue breath, lion's breath, <sighs> bend your knees a lot, step your feet forward towards your mat, bring your feet underneath you, let your arms dangle, head dangle, take a breath in, and exhale, notice your stretch in your body, big breath in, and exhale, on your inhale breath, bring your hands to your shins, Keep your torso in strong, stretch your spine long, and as you stay here with your torso parallel to the floor, lift your arms out to the sides. Notice how strong you are. Inhale, lift yourself all the way back up, stretch tall, hands come down to the center of your chest. Pause for a breath in, big breath out. Now we're gonna get our heart rates going a little bit, so we're gonna move through that a little bit more quickly. Take a big breath in. Use your breath to lift your arms and stretch through the sides of your waist. Exhale, bend your knees and lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Stretch your spine long, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees. Place your hands, step back, tabletop. Plank pose or knees on the ground. Pause for a breath in. Exhale, bend your knees onto the floor if they're not already there. Squeeze your elbows in lower all the way to the floor. Tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale, cobra pose. Slow breath in. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, stretch back. Downward facing dog. Pause for a breath in. And big breath out. Another breath in. And exhale. <sighs> and yoga, we like things in threes, so big breath in. And big breath out. <sighs> Look forward, step your feet forward towards your hands. And exhale, dangle low. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Halfway lift. Exhale, lower again, down to mat. Inhale, spread your arms like wings. Reach up tall, stretch up tall, be tall, mountain. And exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Let's check back in. Hand to heart, hand to belly. What do you notice? What's your breath doing? What's your heart doing? Let's use our breath to calm it down. So we're going to do that square breath one more time. Big breath in. Two, three, four. Exhale out. Two, three, Four. We're going to do square breath again. Inhale. Two, three, four. Now hold your breath. Two, three, four. Exhale out. Two, three, four. Hold it out. Two, three, four. If it's hard to do, that's okay. Just keep practicing and slowing it down. Big breath in. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, Four. Exhale out. Two, three, four. Keep it out. Two, three, four. Hands down by your sides. Turn the corners of your mouth. Smile and get ready to move to some standing warriors. 
So I've moved my mat so that it's the long way. You guys can keep your mats exactly as they are. And then maybe just step wide and take your feet really wide apart on your mat. And if you like to and you're practicing with somebody today, maybe you guys choose to face each other and mirror each other, which could be kind of fun. For those of you who are by yourselves, like me, you can join me um, in this pose. For those of you who have a partner, maybe you face each other and you mirror the pose by doing the same foot that's extended. So I'm gonna cue rights and lefts. Confusing? Probably, we'll see, we'll, we'll just do our best. So I'm gonna start by turning my right toes out and keeping my left toes turned in. And if you want to, you can bring your hands to your hips and then bend into that front knee. As you know, we probably here, you know we're going to warrior two pose. You can stretch your arms out to the sides, bend deeply into that front knee, and look out past the fingertips towards your front knee. Squeeze your heels into each other. Notice the power of this pose. Take a big breath in and out. Now we're going to open up the muscles a little bit by being, taking some big stretches in. So we're going to inhale, straighten our legs, reach tall. Exhale, bend and stretch wide. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, bend and stretch wide. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, bend and stretch wide. What we're gonna do is bring our front arm onto our front knee and lift this top arm up towards the ceiling for a side angle pose. Pull your left shoulder back. Press that bottom arm into the leg to create length in the side of the body. Take a big breath here and big breath out. On your inhale breath, bring your hands back to that warrior two. And then this back arm's gonna rest gently on that back leg. The front knee's gonna keep bending and you're gonna reach that arm up for a reverse warrior. Some people call this peaceful warrior. Take a big breath in and big breath out. On your inhale breath, let's keep our bodies the same but straighten that front leg. Reach this top arm forward like you're going to stretch beyond your toes and then maybe the hand comes down to a shin as your top arm reaches up towards the ceiling for a nice stretch in that right leg in triangle pose. Press that back foot down, lift the top arm towards the ceiling, smile, take a big breath in and out. Inhale, bend that front knee. Warrior two, stretch it wide. And exhale, stay. Inhale, straighten your arms. And exhale, hands to hips, toes point forward. Take a big breath in. Smile at your partner if you're there or smile at the screen towards me. And exhale, notice and feel your feet on the ground. Now let's turn the other toes out. So for those of us that might be left, if you're facing each other, same side. Bend into that knee. Lift the arms out wide. Squeeze your heels together and maybe look out over that left hand or the hand that's extended by that front knee. Take a big breath in. Exhale, feel your strength. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift the arms tall. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend, strong warrior. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend and stay. Take a breath here. And as you exhale, now left arm comes down to that left knee. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling into a side angle stretch. You can look forward or maybe on that top hand or make a silly face if you're looking at someone in front of you. Take a big breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Lift your torso, but stay low in that front knee. Spread those legs or arms and legs wide. Now let that back arm rest on that back leg. Left arm lifts up towards the ceiling. Feel the stretch in your side body. Bend deeper in your left knee. Big breath in, slow breath out. Inhale brings you back up, whoops, straighten that front leg, lift your torso high, and as you exhale, imagine you're gonna reach your arms further than your toes, touching the wall in front of you, 
And then maybe the hands come to the shin as the top arm reaches up towards the ceiling in triangle pose. Notice the stretch now in your left leg. Spread those fingers wide in the top hand as the bottom arm presses into your shin. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale comes back up. Let's dip into warrior two. One last time. Know how strong you are. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale, stand your feet. Toes together. And let's jump our feet together. Hand on heart. One hand on belly. Notice what your heart's doing. Notice what your breath's doing. Let's do one square breath here. Inhale, count to four. Two, three, four. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Exhale out. Two, three, four. Keep it out. Two, three, four. Relax your hands. Let your breath come back to normal. Taking a breath here. And slow breath out. Very nice work here. And exhale. So we're gonna do a balancing pose. And I think we all love tree pose. So that's where I'd like to go today. And again, there's lots of ways you can use your partner here. If you wanted to stand side by side and hold onto hands or press your palms together, you can do that. If you wanna face each other, you can do that, placing both hands on each other and noticing the support. If you're by yourself like I am, you can simply join me. Wherever you are, you're just going to listen and follow the tree instructions. So I'm going to start by standing on my left leg and bending my right knee. If you are facing each other, you're going to bend the same knee as if you're looking in a mirror. You can choose to press your palms together here, or maybe this is the opportunity to hold onto hands or hold onto palms with your partner. Take your knee out to the side. Strengthen that standing leg by drawing that hip up and in, and maybe your, hand, your foot stays on the floor and your palms stay here or touching your partner. Maybe if you like and if you feel balanced, you can bring that bottom foot below the knee or above. I'm gonna stay below the knee today because that's what's most supportive for me and my body. If you're standing by yourself, notice the wobbles. That's a part of learning. If you're with your partner, notice the partner's support. Maybe you and your partner choose to lift your hands. Maybe if you're by yourself, you lift your arms all by yourself. Wherever you are, smile and stretch into your tree for three. Take a big breath in, two, and one. And we're gently going to come out of the pose and step that foot down. You can choose to shake that standing leg or maybe just walk it out. And now, of course, we need to do the other side. So we're gonna to come to the other side. Again, this hip wants to stick out, pull it in. Maybe choose to use the support of your friends or your family member with you. Maybe you choose to place your palms at the center of your chest. If you do have someone, now's the time to connect hands if you like. You can face each other or stand by side by side. Everyone, as you stand on that strong right leg, you can pull that left foot up. Sorry, this would be your left leg. <laughs> Bend your knee out to the side. Press your foot and leg together, your leg and foot as you stand up nice and tall. Keep pulling that hip in, belly nice and tight. Maybe you choose to lift your arms. You can stay connected here. Stretch tall in your tree for three. Big breath in two. And one. Come on out very slowly. And we're going to shift into a frog pose. So our toes are going to come out and our knees are going to point in the same direction. Now it's totally a choice. If, you're, if you bend low in your hips and your heels come on the floor, that's fine. If your feet stay flat, that's fine too. But you're going to bend your knees out towards your feet and toes as you bring the insides of your elbows inside the knee. Let your hips go low as is comfortable for you. Maybe rock out your frog by moving side to side. 
maybe make ribbit sounds, maybe make a silly face. And then come back to center, take a big breath in and out. Drop your hands to the floor, lift your legs, walk your feet a little bit closer to each other and let your head and neck dangle. You can again sway from side to side as you're drawing little circles or little eights on the floor. And if your arms are close to the floor, that's fine too. Just feel the stretch. And then let your hands and head hang like a rag doll. And then slowly, slowly stand all the way up until you're standing. Let's bring our hands together at the center of your chest. Pause for a breath in and breath out. And then take your time to find yourself sitting on your mat. So now that you're sitting on your mat, you may want to get a blanket here. For those of us who are still growing and our muscles are having a hard time catching up with the growing, it might be really nice to fold up the blanket so that you have a good edge to sit on. And then again, I'm going to keep my mats wide, you can just turn to the side. Then you're going to bring the edge of your seat onto the mat and sit up tall in a crisscross position. So from here we're going to stretch out our legs quite a bit. So you're going to extend your right leg out to the side and kind of and bring your left foot inside. And just notice how that feels on your knee. From here we're going to turn our torso so that we're facing our toes. And this might feel like a lot of a stretch for you. So you're welcome to just stay upright like this or maybe even bend your knee. If you want to deepen your stretch, you're going to imagine that your chest is going to reach out towards your toes, even though it's not going to get there. And you're going to go as deep in the stretch as feels right for you. Maybe take a moment here to close your eyes or look down and notice where you feel the stretch in that extended leg. Maybe you feel a stretch in your back. Wherever you are, let's take three deep breaths. Big breath in. And out. Big breath in. And out. Last one, deep breath. And deep breath out. From here, walk your fingertips back closer to your hips, turn and face the front of the room. Now this time, your shoulders are going to point towards that left knee. Keep that in your torso and then maybe bring your left arm, I'm sorry, your right arm on the inside of that left or right leg, your right leg. And then take your hand and place it by your ear and lift your elbow towards the ceiling and you might feel already a stretch in that side of your body. You can stay here if that's enough, or maybe start to extend your arm up and overhead as if you're going to reach the top corner of the room and feel the stretch. Take a deep breath and exhale. Big breath in and exhale. Last one, big breath and out. Inhale, lift that top arm up reach that hand behind you and because this feels good take your left hand on the floor roll up onto your left shin place your right foot down and stretch feeling like you're a half arc or rainbow take another breath in and exhale set that down take a moment here bring both feet forward Sit up on your, sit up tall on your blanket or your mat, and just notice the difference from one side to the other. For some of us, if you look at your feet, it might look as though your right leg is a little bit longer than your left. Pause for a breath in, and big breath out. This time now, your left leg's gonna come, I'm sorry, your right leg's gonna come in, and your left leg's going to extend to the side. Point those toes toward the ceiling, sit up nice and tall in your body. Turn your shoulders towards those toes. Lean your chest forward and maybe gently start to walk your fingertips closer to 
your ankle or your feet. And no, you can always bend your knee or stay upright. Just go to a place where you feel your stretch in your long left leg. Take a breath in. And out. Big breath in too. And out. Last one, big breath in. And slow breath out. Walk your hands towards your hips if they're not already there. Sit up nice and tall on your spine and turn to face your center. Now your shoulders are going to point in the direction of your right knee. And you're going to take your left hand on the inside of your left leg and bring your right hand up, placing your fingertips towards the back of your head. Now you can stay here if this is a nice stretch all along that right side, or maybe choose to extend your arm up and overhead, reaching for the top corner of the room. Breathe in deep. Notice what that breath does to your body. Maybe when you breathe in, you'll feel a deeper stretch. Maybe when you breathe out, you get a little closer to your toes with those fingertips. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale, reach yourself back up. Place the right hand on the floor. Roll onto the right shin. Lift your hips and place your left toes down on the floor and stretch as if you were yawning and waking up from your day. Big breath. And out. One more breath in. And exhale, sit it down. Bring both feet in towards each other. To feet touch, knees out wide for a butterfly pose. As you grab onto your shins, lift your chest and push the outer edges of your knees down towards the floor. That's going to take some effort into your inner thighs, so notice that. Take a breath in, lift your chest. And as you exhale, imagine your chest are going to reach out and beyond your toes and then go to where you feel your deepest stretch. Maybe you feel it on the insides of your legs. Maybe you feel it in your low back. If you want to go a little bit more forward, lean more with your chest, but keep your tailbone on your blanket or on your mat. Then you can let your head hang. As you breathe here, Imagine your ribs blowing up the back of your body like a big balloon. And exhale, let your head and neck and everything get heavier towards the floor. Big breath. And out. Big breath in. And out. Inhale, lift your chest. Bring yourself all the way up until you're sitting nice and tall on your mat. Grab the outer edges of your knees and bring your knees in towards your chest. You guys stay where you are. I'm gonna turn so that now I'm facing the front of my mat. We're gonna do one more big push in boat pose before we go into our relaxation. So if you want to, you can bring your hands behind your knees, squeeze your elbows and lift your chest. If, you, if this is a lot of work for you, which for some of us, it is a lot of work, you can stay here or you can drop back on your tailbone and come up on your tippy toes. Keep lifting your chest and squeezing your elbows in. Now you can maybe choose to flirt with one leg up, set it down, other leg up, and set it down. Take a big breath. Exhale, keep your back straight. Inhale, lift your feet if you want to. Notice the work that's happening. Maybe stay here holding on to the back of your knees or bring your hands up to your side. Keep holding for five. Keep breathing for four, three, two, big breath in, and one. Lay everything onto the floor. Let's bring one knee into our chest. Wiggle it from side to side. It doesn't matter which knee it is, whichever one feels right for you. And then with the same leg, you're going to put that foot down, bring your hips to 
the right side of your mat, or that same leg, same side of your mat, and then cross your body, or cross your legs over your body as you send your arm out to the side. This is where we get to let our body be heavy, but keep staying connected, breathing deep as you breathe in and out. There it comes in and blow it out. One more big breath and exhale. Knee comes back up to center. You may want to shift your hips back to center. Give yourself a little squeeze and set that leg down. We'll switch to the other side now. Whatever opposite leg it is, let's rock our knee from side to side. Keep breathing. And then step that foot down. Shift your hips to the same side of the mat. Take your knee again and hug and bring it across your body. Let the opposite arm stretch out. And then you can look at the opposite arm or look at the ceiling. Take a few breaths here. Breathing deeply, even though it might be hard. big breath and out inhale bring your back onto the floor shift your hips so that your body feels straight again let's hug both knees in to chest and rock from side to side now we're going to be entering in our final relaxation posture so I'm going to give you two options so from here, if you want to, you can start to squeeze your knees into your chest, lift your shoulders, head and neck off the floor, and imagine yourself in the tiniest little ball, maybe as if you're a little seed. And then you're going to take a big breath in, and then you can exhale, grow your seed, arms wide, legs wide, be a bright flower in a field outside looking at the sky. So this is an option here in a very traditional Shavasana pose. The other option, if it feels more comfortable for you, is you can bend your knees, place your feet on the outer edges of your mat, and knock your knees in together. This might help a lot, especially if your back is sore. You can keep your arms out to the side like this, or you can place your hand on one heart and on your belly. This is also available to you if you're laying in your Shavasana position. So take a moment, maybe try both postures, maybe do your big flower in a field, or maybe do something a little bit more supportive for your back. And once you've found your position, take a moment to rest. So now that you're in your resting posture, I'm going to guide you through a calming relaxation. You can choose to just lay and rest in your resting posture, just noticing all the changes you created in your body. Or you can just listen to my guided relaxation and let your mind and your imagination go to wherever it takes you. So I'd like you to imagine that you're outside lying on your back, soaking in the sun, and maybe staring in the sky. As you go there in your mind, notice all that surrounds you. Maybe you can feel your body supported by the earth and the grass. Maybe as you look to the sky, you see the clouds float on by. Notice the big white puffiness of the clouds. Noticing its shapes and any images of the clouds that you might see. Maybe you can hear the sound of the gentle wind. or smell the grass, 
the flowers that surround you. Imagine your body getting heavier and heavier, supported by the ground or the earth. And as you notice the clouds in the sky, noticing its various shapes and images it creates, imagine your thoughts and your feelings getting collected by those clouds. Know that some of the clouds are a little bit more dense. Those dense clouds might hold more difficult feelings, more challenging thoughts. Allow those clouds to absorb the feelings and thoughts. And let that cloud simply roll by, taking away with it the tension and bringing ease into your body. Notice the light, white, happy clouds. And imagine what thoughts or feelings get connected to those. Maybe it's a happy memory or a positive thought that you feel about yourself. Allow the clouds, just as the mind and the thoughts and the feelings, to just simply roll by. Now, imagine the sun. Notice its warmth on your skin, the brightness and energy it creates. As you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, and maybe the cool breeze of the air, take a deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, let your muscles go. And again, again, deeply. And exhaling, letting everything get heavier and heavier to the ground. Last one, big breath in. And exhale out. Whatever position you have chosen in your body, stay perfectly still. But bring yourself back into your space. Notice where you are in the room. Notice who is with you. And as you stay still for just a moment or two, you're going to listen for the sound of my singing bowl. As you're ready, and as you hear the sound of the singing bowl, you're gently going to roll onto one side and sit yourself up. But wait, listen for the sound. If you haven't already, slowly roll on to one of your favorite sides. And gently press yourself up so that you're sitting up nice and tall in a comfortable position. Maybe choosing to gather your hands together at the center of your chest. Or if someone's in the room together, maybe you choose to hold their hands. To all the teens and tweens out there and to all their parents. Thank you so much for joining us in this yoga adventure. I appreciate your time and showing up on your mats and I hope you all have a wonderful summer.